So we're here at the paint swap meet, cars and cameras and everyone else. So uh, for those of you that missed it, you missed your chance, man. These guys were taking pictures nonstop. Come back next year. We'll fix your mini bike. If you come over to the paint swap meet, we'll fix your mini bike up for you. That's what we're here for. So I'm here with Redbeard. Hey. Redbeard. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, a, he's kind of tall. I don't know if you can tell, but Grant's eight foot, nine foot, ten. <laughs> we won't zoom in on this band aid on his head. Boom. Black lightning. <laughs> this is build, break, and repeat's missing, right? Uh oh, the seat's going down. Oh, hey, uh, I'm just taking a video. Two speed. What? Mini green. Yes. Very cool. If you're looking for some merchandise, he can mail it to you. Air up three and a half uh, to come see engine. All right. What's up, guys? This is Grant, founder of CarFab.com, and I'm here at Go Power Sports. Pete Swap Meet. We got a lot of stuff here. We're going to be checking them out um, all the mini bikes. We got Dennis over here. Big brain. We won't, we won't, we won't zoom in on this band-aid on his head. It's a job hazard. <laughs> what we got going on here, Dennis? We are building the very first go-kart off of the production line, Go-Kart Alley. This is the first go-kart kit ever. Uh, Tim from Go Power Sports claimed it. We just haven't built it yet. Okay. We got Josiah and have never built a go-kart before. They okay. are building this one. All right. And this is our veteran Max. Who built oh yeah, I saw, I saw Max build one of these before. All right. So basically this is the kit yep. that you guys have up on Go Power Sports where it's a complete vintage go-kart kit. That's right. And it comes in a big box and you put all the wheels on it, you put the engine on it, you put the clutch, steering wheel, spindles, looks like these. So you guys, is it really true you've never built a go-kart before? All right. Yeah. I've helped with that one, but I've never okay. built it. On a scale of one to 10, how hard is this? It's just some issues with like, like an eight. An eight? Oh, yeah. dang. Maybe like 6.5. 6.5, all right, all right. That's a little more optimistic. <laughs> well, that's cool. Are we sure? Where? This is, uh, I don't know if you know these guys, this is uh, Cars and Cameras. John. <laughs> it's John. This is Isaac. It's a heat stroke. It's pretty yeah. hot out here. So I'm here with Redbeard. Hey. Redbeard. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's kind of tall. I don't know if you can tell, but Grant's eight foot, nine foot, ten. <laughs> and it don't come off on videos. All right, so uh, what are you doing here, man? Well, Came all the way from uh, Hennessy. Maybe. Sweetwater, Tennessee. All right. Brought the drag bike and the mini chopper. Let's go check it out, man. T t walk me through it. For all these people that uh, aren't subscribed to you, the mini chopper started out as a Schwinn Stingray, the Orange County Choppers edition. All right. And, uh, did some cutting and put some pit bike front for it. Sold. He already yeah. signed it. Not for sale, guys. Sorry. You missed out. Sorry. Yeah, it's a it's been an awesome project, but it's been sitting under the house for so long. Yeah, we got too many. It's time to let go. All right, so explain this little drag bike. Oh, white lightning! White lightning? Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's got a stage four uh, non-hemi predator. What does that mean? It's got a sixty-five thousand mil head, big valve, Oh, fancy billet! Is that a billet pull start or yeah, what? For an RC car. For an RC car. All right. Ooh. Got a 24 flat slot. It runs on. We got a half gas. Look down there. Yeah. Ooh. 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 It's, it's, it's like fast. a black hole in there, dude. Oh yeah. All right. Cool. I like it. Bicycle foot pegs on it. All right. Keep it lightweight and classy. Okay. This was the find. So you sold your other bike. Sold the mini chopper. For how much? For 700. And then you bought this for how much? 750. 750. So 50 bucks in the hole already. Yeah. That's and, my kind of business uh, plan right there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, I guess, a super rare Honda ZB. ZB. Made three thousand fifty-eight of them. That's all. Kickstart. It's like a like a little four-stroke. So what is that like a one twenty-five cc thing? Oh, fifty. Oh, a 50. five zero cc's. Two point five horsepower. Oh dang! Yeah, she's dang. She just runs like a scout. Oh, it's got a little speedometer. Everything works on it. Well, you know the like signals it. have seen their days. You know, just uh, to see if it if it works, you just stick your finger on that. Oh, I was and to see the tongue. Like oh. a low battery. <laughs> 
Okay. This is awesome find. I never even knew about them until I turned the corner and, and saw it. That's a huge tank, too. Yeah. It's a huge tank. Uh, I'm going to drive to Texas next year. Okay. It's my street bike. Oh, street bike. Yeah. All right. Because it's huge, though. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Massive. It's a massive bike. Extended, I'm going to build an extended swing arm, put a 190 Daytona four valve engine that's 25 horse, four speed manual. Okay. We're going to make it look Why can't you leave well enough alone? I can't. Okay. <laughs> So you're already fifty dollars in the hole. Yeah. And so then I bought this. Then you bought this for three three hundred dollars. But I traded the engine off the ZB, the Honda ZB, and one hundred and fifty for this. Okay. When I upgrade the engine, I got to mail okay. it back. So you basically two hundred bucks, and you got two new projects. Yeah. This got that nice blue gas. Ooh, look at those. That's professional TIG weld. Yeah, right I welded there. that. Oh yeah, you welded that. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty much a professional welder. It's got the old school hydraulic brakes. Oh yeah. I like it. Okay, you like it. So I'm gonna do this up for Braxton because uh, I have a race car frame and Braxton, you know. Oh, by the way, this is Braxton. Howdy. Hi, Baby Braxton. Boy. Baby boy. Slow body. Yeah, if any if any uh, ladies are out there, yeah. his Instagram yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, Instagram stalk this man. Yeah. All right. Those cool. More projects. You can't find these in Tennessee. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, hold on, yeah. so. So this shirt matches how fast this bike is, all right? All right, let's come check it out. Boom. Black Lightning. <laughs> I believe, don't quote me, but I believe. Uh, oh. yeah, this is a heat frame. Yeah, yeah that's the sound system. system when we park. Uh, you know, tailgating. Right, the right. Tailgate sound system. Right Remember there. that from last time. I put a stock. Uh, <laughs> I put a stock engine, a Predator engine on here, 6.5. 6 There's 6 no 5. work done to it right, or anything right. because uh, I work with a lot of kids, at risk kids, and we hang out to ride yeah. go karts and mini bikes. You don't want so them doing too big of wheelies. Them, I don't want the extra power <laughs> for them. So 6.5 is more than enough power. That's oh, yeah, that's my, that's, my, that's my little sound effect. That's my little lightning <laughs> right there from a, from a, a, a little black lightning right there. Uh oh, the seat's going down. <laughs> oh hey, uh, I'm just taking a video. Are you? You're filming the jankiness. So I'm here. <laughs> so I'm here with uh, build, break, repeat. This is build, break, and repeat's missing, right? Repeat's yeah. Just, yeah. Just <laughs> so they got a YouTube channel too. We got links in the description for all that. So they're working on their Go Power Sports race bike. Dude, check out this. They also got decals if you want to get some. But yeah. Yeah, but right now we're doing a gear ratio change because our sprockets are a little too, it's, it's geared up a little too high because like this much, get this much throttle, there's a little low gearing. We we'll just can't keep the front wheel off the ground. So yeah. It's pretty rowdy right now. So the problem is we're here and we don't have availability of that many parts right now. And Go Power Sports doesn't really sell metric um, sprockets for these jack shafts. So right. we're going to shave this out a little bit. That way we can fit our um, 5A sprockets on here. Yeah. So, so basically, this is like a metric size that's like one millimeter too big. Yeah. So uh, there you go. There go. Good town, man. <laughs> Good luck. Don't try this at home. <laughs> so I'm rather be welding. Um, this is my two speed mini green ATV that Wait. I built. How two many? speed? Two speed. What? Mini green, yes. Very cool. It has a two speed so uh, custom transmission that I made from scratch. 30 series torque converter. 30 series torque converter, uh, stage three Tillotson. Oh dang. And, electric uh, start. Oh, that's the Electric the... start. It's even got a headlight. Nice. And, uh, yeah. I got the same one on my mini bike. Yeah. Nice. So this is uh, neutral. So how does that work? Okay. That's so. first gear. And then, do that again? and then that is second gear. So, right, so it's just a... It's actually very simple. It's just basically... Just lock the, it in there? The clutch dog that spins um, on the axle connected to this. These spin freely. And then once the clutch dog engages with it, that's what gear it's in. Just locks it in place, drives that. Nice. And first gear, it, uh, it's a very torquey, wheelie king. And then uh, second gear, it goes faster than you ever want to go. Nice. Uh, something like this. I don't know the top speed of it, and uh, it's it's definitely fast. So, that's nice, man. Yeah, definitely. Be well. You can get his uh, merchandise. His yep. channel, buy yep. some stickers. Yeah. Yeah, I really like, like all your projects because, like, a lot of people, 
such as myself, you know, bolt-on crap, right? It's just mostly bolt-on. Yeah. This, you know, did you buy it? No. And bolt I've, crap onto it? <laughs> no, I built this whole thing from scratch. Right, so most of the stuff, pretty much all of the stuff that he does is like all custom. custom from the ground up. All right, so I'm here with Shane Kornhauser from Texas Outlaw Mini Bikes. He's pretty much the guy to go to for merchandise for Tomb. Okay, so if you guys are looking for stickers, um, what do you guys what do you guys typically sell a lot of? Most of our stickers are all under five dollars, except for the big ones. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so these stickers. Cool. All of our stickers, except for the two small ones, are vinyl. You can put them on your car or your truck or your trailer. All right, cool. Just sick. So if you want to fit one of these, these are the same size as your pull start cover. So you can put that on there or put some of these on your window. Yeah, that's cool. So um, if you're looking for some merchandise, he can mail it to you. Um, we're going to try and get at least the stickers on my website pretty soon. But like if you want a shirt, like this, any of these kind of shirts, you can PM Shane on Facebook. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. So you guys made a lot of progress from last time. Nice. So I'm here with the legend, Rick Watson. Okay. And for those of you that don't know Rick, he built some really cool stuff. So can you tell me what you got right here down here? Uh, this is the mini bike build off the bike that I built. This is a 1968 uh, Bonanza Chopper. Bonanza Chopper, all right. With the original wheel, original wheel, original frame. Uh, did not have the original engine, but I went with the old school era three and a half uh, Tecumseh engine. All right, so this is the Tecumseh. It's a flat head, right? So you got the head right there. And that is slick. It looks like it's brand new almost. Pretty much. I went through every nut and bolt on it. Kind of did something fancy. I yes. had the fan shroud and the starter chrome. So you can see uh, every little nut. Every nut and bolt is either uh, stainless steel. Uh, even went to the extent to put like polyurethane washers underneath all the stuff, so nothing, none of the powder coat gets scratched. Yeah, yeah. Um, but nice. everything on the bike is uh, powder coated. Nothing's rattled. Man. Nice, nice. I love it. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Grant. Oh, also, he won in his class. Yes, first place in his class. So, so if you voted for me and you like the bike, thank you very much. So this is Tommy, who always wins mini bike races, except for when he's racing Ferris. <laughs> Here's Madison, all right? They're going to be married pretty soon, right? <laughs> yes. So, uh, but they both freaking race mini bikes together. It's the coolest thing ever. So. Can you kind of walk me through what this bike is and what you did to it? All right, so we got this bike about three years ago. We bought it. We actually traded it for an RC car. Um, we just recently got it powder coated by Timothy Kyle. That's Conroe awesome. powder coated. Yeah. Beyonce, Mike, um, Shout out to Timmy. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> She uh, she bobbed the fender like that. She thought that looked cool. I do too. Okay, fender. She thought that looked cool. It is cool. cool. Okay. Uh, some of the mods include uh, it's got a torque converter that's been tuned up a little bit. It's a non hemi Predator. The head's milled 80,000. It's got champion rockers, chromoly push rods, billet lifters, billet rod. Billet ARC flywheel. It's got a hot 265 cam from Go Power Sports. It's welded. Nice. Uh, it's deck height. Yeah. Seems to like the power. All around yeah. badass. Yeah. Cool. So for all of you guys out there thinking, how am I gonna win a race with a mini bike? You need to like look at this thing. Right? Just wait for this to break down, and you'll win. <laughs> All right, so talk me through it. Okay, so, so we started with a complete rust bucket. It was a 1977 Ward Skilson. Okay. Um, I had the engine on a previous doodle bug. Uh, we ended up going with C50 wheels, C50 hubs. It's got a custom cut CNC uh, sprocket adapter. Okay. The short block was built by Blazing Racing. 
Uh, Blaze Blur, he's a great guy, man. He really hooks me up. So he gets that Briggs that's usually kind of slow to, to actually make a little bit of power. He gets it to run all right. <laughs> We got uh, LC speed covers, valve cover, and uh, clutch cover running at 250 Viper. Uh, it's up pretty high. I want to give a special shout out to Blues for Customs who did the uh, pinstriping on it. He's rad, man. Yeah, he it's does freaking a great awesome. job. Dude. So. Like, my attempt at pinstriping is nothing compared to this. This is beautiful. This is Grant. We got my Manco, Thunderbird here. We got Ferris with his Manco Thunderbird. And we got Tommy Jr. with the Manco <laughs> Thunderbird. These bikes are all the same mini bike, just modified different ways. These are all Manco Thunderbirds. Thunderbird Nation, all right? Yeah, there we go. Well, that's it, I'm home now. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you check out all the other YouTubers here. Um, you can see a lot of the videos that they have when they're building the stuff that they sold at the Pate Swap Meet as well as all of their experiences there because they got a lot more content. So thanks guys for watching. Give this a thumbs up and don't forget, for those of you that have been watching since 2015, you'll recognize this guy right here. This is the free go-kart plan go-kart that I built myself. All right. And we're going to be changing it up. So stay tuned for that and we'll catch you in the next one.